guys, it's Sarah and welcome back to my channel. I'm so sorry it's been so long, like it's been hectic recently but you'll find out about that in another video because <laughs> I'm planning on doing like a little life update to just like let you all know what's been going on kind of thing. But yeah, so anyway, I am back with a, another video a long awaited video and yeah I am um, I'm just gonna basically jump straight into it so the other week on the 18th of this month so that would be like a week and a bit ago um oh wait it'd be like two weeks by the time you watch this but anyway um I took a dance exam and I've not done a dance exam in like two years because of covid and everything and when I basically came, was allowed back to dancing, when the adults were allowed back, I just missed the dance exam that they did. Um, yeah, by like a few months. So I wasn't allowed to take one because they don't do them at the beginning of the year. I basically came back, I think it was like February or just the end of January. It was just the end of January because my birthday is in January and I definitely went dancing on my birthday. Um, and yeah, so basically it was near the end of January when I first came back and they don't do exams at the beginning of the month. So I missed out on a dance exam because of the timing that I ended up coming back after COVID. And yeah, so basically I did um, a dance exam. And one thing about me and dancing is I absolutely hate dance exams because it's one person in the room watching you and you can just, you just know they're watching you and because you know their eyes are on you, it's really, really daunting. Um, I'd much rather be on a stage performing in front of thousands of people where you can't see all the faces than it be an exam with one person watching you. It's so daunting. And this time as well was the first time that a dance teacher wasn't dancing with me because I now have a dance partner. Like, yeah, he's really good as it is, but it was the first time that he was going to dance with me. The only dance, because I'm on Gold Bar 2, so basically it goes like, bronze silver gold gold bar one gold bar two gold bar three and then i think it's star one star two so on um i'm on gold bar two and i have to do all four dances of ballroom and all four dances of latin but i was only doing the ballroom exam this time and yeah basically i have to do all four dances my actual dance partner is only on bronze because he's not done any exams but he's like my level of dancer dancing so we're trying to do like him do both like bronze both silver both gold at a time until he catches up to me where i just do one of each at the time and then we'll both be on like the same kind of level if that makes sense um but yeah so the only dance he wasn't going to dance with me it was a foxtrot because it's foxtrot is like the most difficult ballroom dance that you can do um and he's really really good at waltz quick step and tango but foxtrot is one that we both need to like improve on so he wasn't going to dance foxtrot with me it was just my dance teacher was going to dance that and then yeah so basically it got to the day of the exam and i got there and then he got there he was stressed out as it was as, anyway and he basically said because when we had our last dance lesson before the exam he was struggling a bit with a quick step because we changed the ending um and yeah he was just struggling a little bit with it um it's a bit hard when he's changing it like <laughs> the dance lesson before the exam but i'm used to it so it's fine um so he basically said he wanted my dance teacher to dance that one with me so when i got into the room i just told her and yeah so first of all we danced a waltz and waltz went actually really well um i was so nervous so like we were both so nervous so that didn't help and i feel like we were so like not like ready for this exam but hey ho um <laughs> yeah so we danced the waltz and um, we did my exam first because yeah i think it's because i do more dances than what he does anyway we did mine first um so we did the waltz the waltz actually went really well and she gave me an excellent on the rhythm, excellent on presentation and very good on technical ability, use of footwork and arms. And her comment in the waltz was, 
well danced backward walks neat brush turn brushed action on a spin turn try for more rise and fall now but i think i just didn't do it because i was nervous not gonna lie um yeah so waltz went pretty good to be fair that's one of like my good dances anyway quick step was next so my dance teacher learned, um, did quick step with me luckily she knew my routine um and yeah that went pretty well as well i pretty much got the same remarks on a quick step as a waltz so oh I, i'm literally telling you what she ticked on them all but all of them were the same so like every dance on the rhythm i got excellent every dance on presentation i got excellent and every dance on technical ability use of footwork and arms i got very good so yeah so quick step she said neat lock step good use of headline more quick rise and fall now so it was rise and fall again and i'm pretty sure i do my rise and fall in my lessons but i'm pretty sure that was just because i was nervous to be fair <laughs> so the next dance was tango and tango is one of my very best dances and it's my favorite dance to dance i went back out in that exam saying i did not do my best in the tango that's the worst i've ever ever danced it so I thought I'd like messed up big time because of that dance and my dance partner actually said to me she's, he actually said she watched the second time round which was like better than my first time round. So the first time round when I first set off I slipped and then I slipped which made me forget to do my sharp head turn and then because I, I forgot to do my sharp head turn I panicked and did it too late. So it was really like bad. She did write it down, but I'm surprised she gave me the marks that she did. And then, yeah, literally like everything just went wrong. And I definitely didn't dance the tango as good as I would have done normally. <laughs> I actually, like for me to walk out and say I did not dance that the best, that's the worst I've ever danced it. That says something because normally I'm like, I love the tango. It's my favorite dance, blah, blah, blah. But yeah, so her like remarks on the tango was tango hold well maintained character and headline developing more delayed action now sarah so that delayed action is because i did a delayed act like it was supposed to be like more sharp and because i didn't do it um properly she's marked it down but hey ho it happens it's life um but yeah like i was so unhappy with how i danced the tango like that's my best dance. That is my complete like ballroom, my best ballroom dance that I dance. Um, and then the next one was Foxtrot, which I'm really not good at and I really don't like. <laughs> my dance teacher absolutely loves it. So it's probably a good thing that she danced with me because she knows she's probably, obviously she's a dance teacher, so she's better at leading than like other everybody else. Um, and basically I just go with whatever she leads me to do <laughs> honestly i'm so bad at a fox shot i really don't like it um and to be fair i actually got quite a good remark in the fox trot she actually put um while danced feather step check for footwork on reverse turn sound timing well done so yeah like it's the worst dance i could ever dance a fox trot um but yeah i did pretty well to be fair and she gave me the mark, right, so the marks, we aim for 90 plus, like, she tries to get us to aim to 90 plus because that's honours, that's like the highest mark that you can get, but she's happy with 85 upwards because that's highly commended to honours, so, like, 85 to 90 is highly commended and 90 plus is honours. I've always got, like, highly commended, I've never ended up with honours, and because I messed up big time in tango i thought i was going to get highly commended but i actually got a score of 90 percent which means i got honors which is the first ever honors i've ever ever got so i was really surprised at that and apparently that's like a high score that she's done as well because the freestyle lot at dancing um they're like really like they're basically professionals and they always get like high 90s um and the fact that the highest person in freestyle got like 93% means that she scores quite low for high, if that makes sense. Um, so that means that I got a high mark because I was only three marks behind the highest person in freestyle, which is really, really good. And I'm literally so happy with it. I was absolutely buzzing when she told us. 
Um, but yeah, I proper thought I messed up and I thought I was like proper disappointed in my dance teacher, but she was so happy with the results. And also this examiner has a ballroom school as well. So the fact that she's given us quite a high mark, so what she marks means that I've done pretty well considering I messed up. And yeah, I'm just so happy with it. I was so shocked that I got honours. And yeah, it's like one of the best scores I've ever got in a dance exam. So I'm so happy. And that's why I kind of wanted to document this for like memories because it's the first time that I've ever got honours. Honestly, I'm so happy with it. And I just kind of wanted to share it. But yeah, so hope now I've got to work towards my Latin um, exam, which I'm guessing will be the end of this year. I'm guessing anyway but yeah I have a cold hay fever so bad recently so that's why I'm sounding so like bunged up um but yeah so I'm so happy about my dance exam results and yeah so far I share it with you guys if you've ever got like honours in dancing how was your first time like what was your reaction like because I was so buzzing like I literally couldn't believe it um, my dance partner did so well as well, he got honours as well in both of his, so well done to him too. And yeah, so I thought I would just kind of do this video for memories and see if you guys have ever got your first honours and what style of dancing you guys do as well. And yeah, so that is the video. <laughs> it's a little, little like document video for me and yeah. Thank you so much for watching, I'm really happy. And I've got a few videos planned for the next few weeks, so we'll definitely be doing that. There should be, well I'm going somewhere soon, um, so there should be a vlog going in, and as you can tell the sun's just gone in. <laughs> Natural lighting and all that. Um, but yeah, I should be doing some more vlogging soon, because I've got a few things coming up which I'm super excited about and yeah so thank you guys so much for watching um if you are new to the channel hit that subscribe button because i get so many views but hardly any subscribers which is quite annoying i can see you guys um <laughs> but yeah subscribe it's free <laughs> and yeah hit that thumbs up button if you've managed to watch it to the end and you liked these kind of videos because i'm sure i'm gonna have some more dance exam video dance exams coming up so it can make videos on like my dance exam results and stuff like that so yeah thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next week with another video i promise bye